How to build business credit with Dunn's number. Did you know that you could start a business, create a business credit profile on Dunn & Bradstreet's website and get business funding? And in some cases, you can get this done in a few days, not weeks, months, or years. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you get that done. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. You gotta get it done, or you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a step by step process on how to build business credit using just the DUNS number or even your EIN, which stands for Employer Identification Number. Number two, I'm gonna share with you how to get a high business credit score so that you can get funding without your social security number. And I'm gonna share with you my secret business credit hack that my student used to get $50,000 in one day. There are two major differences between business credit and personal credit. Many of us already know about personal credit. You will have three credit bureaus. They are TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. In order to get a very high personal credit score, they will be looking at your trade lines to make sure that you have open and active trade lines. They will look to see which accounts, accounts are trade lines. They will be looking to see that you have trade lines and accounts that you've paid on time. They will also be looking to see what your debt utilization record is. So basically how much money you use in regards to the limit. So for example, if you have a credit card and the limit is $1,000, making sure that you're not using more than maybe 30 30% of that credit card or in the example that I gave $300 and they will be looking to see if you have a different mix of credit like do you have a mortgage do you have credit cards do you have revolving accounts do you have installment loans do you have student loans all different types of credit but when it comes to business credit it is completely different it is a completely different system and there are three separate credit bureaus for business credit when it comes to business credit, there again are three bureaus, but they are Equifax Business, Experian Business, and Dun & Bradstreet. As you may know, Dun & Bradstreet is the largest and has been around the longest as the business or credit reporting agency, and they are considered the juggernaut of business credit reporting because many companies use Dun & Bradstreet to look up business credit profiles. You want to get a Dun & Bradstreet number or a Dun's number so that you can start building business credit with Dun & Bradstreet and you can do this absolutely free. Let me get into that part because this is amazing. The first step to getting your Dun's number or your Dun & Bradstreet identifier number, D-U-N-S, is to log into Dun & Bradstreet's website. And again, this is absolutely free to get your Dun's number. The first thing that you will do, as you can see, is you will go to dnb.com. That's done in Bradstreet. So D like dog, N like Nancy, B like boy, dot com. You will log in and as you will see, you will be able to get a Dunn's number. It's right there on the home page. You will log in. You will say that you are a US based company. It will have a few drop downs. You can see here that you can easily put in your information and then begin a search. You want to do this because in some cases you will already have a Dunn's number and you did not even have to go into the system and apply for one. Or if you don't have it already, once you search and you find your business, then you will be able to go in and claim your business and then get the process started. Once you have found your business or if your business is not in there, you can go through a simple process where they will mail you a code in order to verify and claim your business so that you can get your free DUNS number. You can also click a little box. You will notice to have this thing called credit signal so that they can send you credit alerts on your business credit. Now, I warn you, they will send you lots of emails if you check this box. So think about if you want that. However, I would say in the beginning, you should click that box and then if you don't want this and you're getting too many emails, you can always go back in and change it once you've created your DUNS profile. Once you go through this process and you receive the code in the mail to the address on file for your business, you will receive that code in the mail, then you will easily log back into Dun & Bradstreet, you will claim your business, and then voila, you will have a DUNS number. Again, it's free and it's a very simple process. Now, here's a quick warning for you that I need to tell you and it is so important. Before you go in and actually claim the DUNS number, you wanna make sure there are a couple of things about your business that are already correct before you do this. 
You wanna make sure that the address that you have on file for your business registered with the Secretary of the State, whether you have an LLC, a limited liability company, or a corporation or even a nonprofit entity, that the address on file with the Secretary of State is accurate because this is the information that Dun & Bradstreet pulls from public records. So before you go and claim the number, you wanna make sure that the address is on file correctly with the Secretary of State. And in some cases, you may have to go to your own Secretary of State. And again, in most states, it's absolutely free in the United States and fix your address on file so that the code from Dun & Bradstreet that I mentioned in step one goes to the correct address. Again, if you have the wrong address with the Secretary of State, that's what's going to be in Dun & Bradstreet's public records profile, and that's where they're going to mail that code. So beware, I've had tons of students mess this part up, but you can easily go and verify that all of the information that you have, including the business name being spelled correctly, making sure if you have, you know, like S, like a plural in your name, or making sure that it's absolutely correct and all of the information with the Secretary of State matches the way you want it to. If you need to make any changes, that's usually free or low cost to do with the Secretary of State, and then you will go and get your Dun & Bradstreet number. The next thing that you're going to do, and this is very simple, is you will then start building trade lines once you have gotten your Dun's number. But you wanna make sure that you are getting trade lines on your Dun & Bradstreet from lenders that report to Dun & Bradstreet so that the trade lines do show up on your business credit report. Now, let me give you another amazing warning that I learned the hard way and I'm gonna share a big secret with you because I don't want you to fall in this trap and I wanna make sure that you get all the funding that you need with your Dun's number. Once you log into Dun & Bradstreet's number and you create a profile, they are going to start offering you the service where they can help you build credit yourself where you can take other accounts that you have, for example, like a cell phone or insurance or other different things that you pay for in your, in your business and have it added to your Dun & Bradstreet credit report. Now, I'm not gonna say this is a scam or use that as a word. However, it did not work for me and it hasn't worked for any of my students. So I wanna make sure that I am telling you upfront. Again, I have no skin in this game. This is not an affiliated video where I'm being paid by Dun & Bradstreet, but I just wanna tell you the truth that I paid for this service. I paid, I think it was 600 or 900, maybe $1,000 for this service. I added or tried, or should I say, I tried to have different accounts that I had, for example, like the car insurance or the cell phone bill or other vendors that I paid, the different things that this system told me, the service that they had did, and none of those trade lines worked. I added them all, I went through the whole process, I showed them evidence that I had been paying them, and they rejected every single one, even bigger companies like State Farm. I have not known anyone, not even one person that has told me that this service has worked for them for adding trade lines. And again, I'm gonna give you some companies that I know report to Dun & Bradstreet because you can get trade lines added legally, ethically by actually opening up accounts that report to Dun & Bradstreet. Let me get to that point. You want to then go to some lenders that will lend to you as a startup or a company that doesn't even have what they call a Paydex score, which is similar to a FICO score. You know, this is your business's credit score. It's called a Paydex under Dun & Bradstreet. And again, it ranges from zero to 100 with a good Paydex score being 80 and above. You wanna apply for credit with lenders or vendors that will report to Dun & Bradstreet. Now again, if you need any help with building business credit, I have a friend that helped me build my personal credit and helped me fix my personal credit, and now he is an expert in business credit. His name is Justin Merch with Justin Merch Consulting, and I have referred tons of my students. They actually get his services for free, and he has been able to help people build their business credit and get business funding in just a matter of days. There is a link below in the description description box and you can go to Justin Merch Consultant right now and let him know that you are looking for help with business credit and that Noel Randall sent you. He has helped hundreds of businesses get business credit and get business funding and I absolutely love and know Justin for many years and he is an absolutely amazing person with an amazing company. So this is an easy way for you to start building business credit and in many cases just using your Dunn's number. I wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.